Fray Nicolas de Avando y Caceres Broses, Extremadura, Spain 1460 Madrid, Spain 29 May 1511 was a Spanish soldier from a noble family and a knight of the Order of Alcantara, a military order of Spain. He was governor of the Indies Hispaniola from 1502 until 1509, sent by the Spanish crown to investigate the administration of Francisco de Bobadilla and re-establish order. His administration subdued rebellious Spaniards, and completed the brutal pacification of the native Taino population of Hispaniola. Early life Nicolas Avando y Caceres was born in Broses in 1460. Born into a noble and pious family, second son of Diego Fernández de Caceres y Avando, first lord of the manor house del Alcazar Viejo, and his first wife Isabel Flores de las Varillas a distant relative of Hernán Cortés, Avando entered the military order of Alcántara, where he became a master mestra or, maitra or a commander major commendador mayor. This Spanish military order, founded in 1156, resembled the Order of Templars, with whom it fought the Moors during the Reconquista. His elder brother was Diego de Caceres y Avando. Topic: <inaudible> Selection as governor. Topic: As commander of Larry's de Guajaba, Avando became a favorite of the Spanish Catholic monarchs, particularly of the pious Queen Isabella I. Thus, in response to complaints from Christopher Columbus and others about Francisco de Bobadilla, the Spanish monarch on the 3rd of September 1501 appointed Avando to replace Bobadilla. Avando became the third governor and captain general of the Indies, Islands, and firm land of the Ocean Sea. Topic. Expedition to the Americas Topic. Thus, on 13 February 1502, he sailed from Spain with a fleet of 30 ships. It was the largest fleet that had ever sailed to the New World. The 30 ships carried around 2,500 colonists. Unlike Columbus's earlier voyages, this group of colonists was deliberately selected to represent an organized cross-section of Spanish society. The Spanish crown intended to develop the West Indies economically and thereby expand Spanish political, religious, and administrative influence in the region. Along with him also came Francisco Pizarro, who would later explore western South America and conquer the Inca Empire. Another ship carried Bartolomé de las Casas, who became known as the protector of the Indians for exposing atrocities committed by Avando and his subordinates. Hernán Cortés, a family acquaintance and distant relative, was supposed to sail to the Americas in this expedition, but was prevented from making the journey by an injury he sustained while hurriedly escaping from the bedroom of a married woman of Medellín. The expedition reached Santo Domingo in April 1502, and included Diego de Nicuesa and Lucas Vázquez de Ión. Also on board were 13 Franciscans, led by Friar Alonso de Espinar, bringing the total on the island to 25. Topic. Administration Topic. When Avando arrived in Hispaniola in 1502, he found the once peaceful natives in revolt. Avando and his subordinates ruthlessly suppressed this rebellion through a series of bloody campaigns, including the Jaragua Massacre and Igwe Massacre. Avando's administration in Hispaniola became notorious for its cruelty toward the native Taino. Estimates of the Taino population at the time of the arrival of the Spaniards in 1492 vary, with Anderson Cordova giving a maximum of 500,000 people inhabiting the island. By the 1507 census, according to Bartolomé de las Casas' battlefield slaughter, enslavement and disease had reduced the native population to 60,000 people, and the decline continued. In 1501, Avando ordered the first importation of Spanish-speaking black slaves into the Americas. Many Spanish aristocrats ordered slaves to work as servants in their homes. However, most slaves were sent to work in the sugar cane fields, which produced the valuable cash crop. After the conquests made by his lieutenants including Juan Ponce de León and Juan de Esquivel, Avando founded several cities on Hispaniola. He also developed the mining industry, introduced the cultivation of sugar cane with plants imported from the Canary Islands, and commissioned expeditions of discovery and conquest throughout the Caribbean. 
Avondo allowed Spanish settlers to use the natives' enforced labor, to provide food for the colonists as well as ships returning to Spain. Avondo also allowed the Taino to be exploited for their labor, and thousands died while forced to extract gold from the nearby mines. Pursuant to a deathbed promise he made to his wife Queen Isabella I, King Ferdinand II of Aragon recalled Avondo to Spain in 1509 to answer for his treatment of the native people. Diego Columbus was appointed his successor as governor, but the Spanish crown permitted Avondo to retain possession of the property he brought back from the Americas. Avondo died in Spain on 29 May 1511. He was buried in the church of the former monastery of San Benito de Alcantara, which belonged to his military order and which sustained significant damage in later centuries. See also Topic. Colony of Santo Domingo People of the Colony of Santo Domingo Spanish Empire Spanish West Indies Viceroyalty of New Spain Topic. References Topic. Topic. Further reading Topic. Castro Pereira Muzino de Albuquerque e Cunha, Fernando de 1995, Instrumentario Genealogico, Linhagen's Millenarias in Portuguese, p. 311 Lamb, Ursula. Fray Nicolas de Avando 1956. Sauer, Carl O. The Early Spanish Main 1967 Attribution This article incorporates text from a publication now in the public domain, Wilson, James Grant, Fisk, John, eds. 1891. Article Name Needed. Appleton's Cyclopedia of American Biography. New York, D. Appleton. External links the Loverture Project, Nicolas de Avando, article from Haitian History Wiki.